Oh, good morning. I'm on my way back to JK News right now. It's just me this time, not Steve, but it's the cooler half anyway, right? So, whoa. Just kidding, I'm not the cooler half. Oh my God. Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome back to Nikki in real life. No, this is what I'm doing in my real life. Wow, what a boring room. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what happened a couple weeks ago right after moving into this place. So I'm on my way to JK News right now and um, let me just tell you, the next 40 episodes of JK News that I'm on, I, I don't have my life together. Nothing has been routine in like a month. I feel like I'm just living day by day taking it one day at a time. And uh, you know what, sometimes it's better that way because I tend to be a person that overthinks things, but just so you know, my hair, my nails, I have bruises everywhere. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to tell you, but I guess I'm just trying to defend myself. It's great though because I feel like I've just been craving a, a clean start, like a fresh slate. This whirlwind of change has definitely created that. I feel very uh, starting over and I like it. Sometimes things need to change. Sometimes you've lived in the same place for four years and you're done with it and you need to grow. You've outgrown it. That's how I feel. My outer is reflecting my inner right now. I feel like I've outgrown whatever my daily routine was for a while and uh, now it's kind of like showing on the outside. <sighs> is this boring? So Dave is teaching everybody how to stretch. What are you doing now? It's a, it's a, it's a hip <laughs> oh my god, he's on the floor! It's like where somebody's fucking the ass, but then your guy's fucking you from the you back, right? Uh -huh. But he's not doing it enough, so you have to push into his ass. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've the been there. Style. Yeah, it helps with opening up your hips. Too oh, much oh, sex. Shit. Too much sex no, going on. Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> it hurts oh good. God. It hurts I'm, good, David, right? No! I'm so sorry. I'm, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you say I'm so sorry? <laughs> oh shit, you're making it wider? Yeah. Oh! Friendship. <laughs> this is friendship. I'm stuck. We're on our way right now to an audition. It's a, it's a duo audition. They're looking for a married couple that has great banter, that has been married in the past year. Uh, so we like pretty much check all the boxes and then it's like, must be attractive in all caps. Yeah, Make okay. sure they're attractive. This is an upscale brand. Because I've never seen a hot person in a Mercedes. They're like, we want influencers with social media followings that also have a background in improv and acting, theatrical resume and an improv resume. Please be hotter than And hell. be hot as fuck, damn it, it's yeah. Mercedes. Well, it's easy. So we're pretty much killing it. Killing have you it ever seen a hard. hot person in a Jaguar? Uh, I no. Have you ever seen a hot person in a Mercedes? No, I haven't. That's no. what I'm saying. <laughs> the more upscale the car, the uglier it gets. The well, that's because by the time you can afford it, you're old and uh, you're that's old exactly and gray and, and balded. Balded. So I think that's what is going on is they want to appeal to the younger crowd. So they're they like, can't afford it. They're like, make sure they're hot and on social media. I just want to do the whole like, uh, you know how they do that honest shit where it's like, it's like I love Mercedes. I've been driving Mercedes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just with that cockiness. Or the Matthew McConaughey version. Like, yeah, exactly. When I like, step into a Lincoln. I love my Lincoln. It's just basically I'm just doing Bill Clinton. I yeah. Guess. So we gotta act young, honey. Think young. Be young. Oh hell yeah, that's easy. Okay, so we're here, and Steve's getting me a water right now, and I'm literally seeing the most attractive ass couples I've ever seen in my life walk into this building, like guest models. I hope they're going more for the banter and less for the attractiveness. But did that attractive ass husband get their wife a water when she demanded a water? Probably not. I'd marry this fool any day. Hello, update. We were done with the audition. It was stupid. It was a dumb audition. It reminded me so much of why I hate commercial auditions. <laughs> they just treat you like you're not even a person. Like you're just like you're not. You're a nobody to them. You're you're a piece of, of you're a, shit to them. You're just like a face that they need to show to someone else to show that they did their job. Yeah. So, but now we're on our way to something I think a lot more fun. We met this couple last month at a Veggie Girl event, and they were really really cool. And the girl, I guess, puts on this monthly um, event, like a monthly socializing event, where 
like there's a photo shoot and there's champagne and there's like massages. I actually don't really know what to expect, but they were really cool, really cool couple. So we're going to one of her monthly events and this is the first time we've seen them since we met them last month. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm down to drink after that audition. That's all I want to do. Ask and you shall receive. Six more of these, please. Love these pyrite candles. I think we're in a home de decor store, which is perfect because we're just in it. I'm in heaven. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, I had too many drinks yesterday. Basically every time I felt nervous, I had a drink and I didn't think I was drinking that many. I got so, I got birthday level drunk and I threw up all of my Chipotle and then I fell asleep at 6.30 p.m. and I woke up at 6 30 a.m. So here we are. Good morning. Uh, today is the last day that we have keys for our old apartment and I need to go back there and clean it before we leave the keys there. It'll be kind of like bittersweet because I'll we'll say goodbye. It's weird going back there now because it doesn't feel like home at all. Like this totally feels like home now. We've only lived here for a week. But yes, this will be the last, the very last time being in that apartment. All right, this is it. <laughs> This is where we lived for four years. The dining room doesn't even look the same. I'm so used to be, there being a map there. It used to be so colorful. Tasty Tuesday Kitchen. Goodbye. You think there was a rug here or? Look how gross the floors are. Except for where the rug was. Oh my gosh, monsters lived here. Luckily we don't, we don't have carpet mostly in our new place. Um, all right. Here's where my office was. We need to take that kitty litter into the new place. It looks so weird white. There used to be pink curtains there and it made the whole room look pink and colorful. Here's our old bedroom. Goodbye cool tree thing that I put up from Target. This is our old walk-in closet, which when we first moved in here, I thought this was so big. I thought it was huge. And now our walk-in closet is twice this size. Didn't think it was possible. We had some good times in this closet. Oh my gosh. It's all empty. You ready to say goodbye to this place? Let's do it. To our home of four years. Doesn't even feel like home anymore, four? doesn't it? Is it only four? It feels like it's been more. It feels like it's been forever, but it was 2014. I feel like we've always lived here. I know. I felt like we were gonna always live here and you, die you here. We definitely did. I thought we were gonna die here. Do you remember just like around Christmas time, like that night when we saw the, um, the Great Christmas movie? Yeah, it's wonderful life. It's wonderful life. And you were like, we're never gonna leave this place. Yeah, I was like, we're gonna die. We're gonna die in that, that apartment. <laughs> okay. Hey, come here, okay. Kiss me real quick. The place was good to us, man. It really was. Yeah. Now it's time to go. Yep. Boom. There it is. That's where we're at. Time to make some new memories in this place. This boring room, which won't be boring for long. And you know, we'll create a memory of making it less boring. So subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'm also doing multiple uploads to make up for my lack of uploading while I was, you know, moving. You're gonna really wanna subscribe. You're gonna really wanna turn on notifications. You're gonna wanna come back tomorrow. See you then, bye.